Jim McGregor here at Curious Research, and I'm with Prakash Gouda talking with Morris Micro Hello, about um, How are you? Halo technology, which is a Wi Fi standard That's that was right. approved in 2016 for kind of long range Wi Fi. Not kind of, it is long no, range, long -range Wi Fi. Okay, long range Wi Fi. Sub gigahertz long range Wi Fi that has the longest range, lowest power, and the best connectivity on the market today. So let me show you about some of the products and the technology and educate you a little bit about the advantages of this groundbreaking technology. Well, right here on the end here, we're working, uh, one of the primary applications of this technology is around um, video connectivity and, and surveillance cameras. And so we're working with a bunch of uh, our ODM partners um, in order to create various form factors of uh, video surveillance cameras that can be both battery powered or wired and that have long range. Um, and so let's start with that. Yeah. I mean, the advantages of it really are the range and at 900 megahertz, the better penetration. Better penetration. And also, but what about power consumption? The power consumption, thanks to the laws of physics, is measurably lower. It's demonstrably lower than regular Wi Fi um, or 2.4 or 5 gig. Uh, we are demonstrably better and particularly in sleep states like if you have if you use the inherent uh, power saving features of Wi-Fi Halo like target wait time or raw um, you can get even better battery life than normal uh, Wi-Fi on top of the inherently lower power consumption and what kind of data rates are we looking at over say a couple hundred meters which would or, be beyond normal Wi-Fi. Right, exactly. So data rates in general, the standard supports MCS rates mm -hmm. 0 through 7 with a peak phi rate of 32.5 megabits per second, which translates to about 23 megabits per second UDP uh, traffic. Or said it another way, 3 to 4 uh, full 1080p video streams. Um, now, this kind of rate, uh, depending on what conditions you have, noise conditions and, and various propagation, uh, can, give, can be over a very distance. Mm -hmm. um, when you have zero noise, like say in the Mojave Desert, you can reach up to 15 kilometers uh, to maintain connectivity. If in the middle of the Vegas Strip, it might be 500 meters. But let's take a realistic environment like say Ocean Beach, San Francisco, it's a suburban neighborhood, lots of smart meters, lots of noise. You can get to three kilometers and maintain video connectivity. In a 250 meter range, you're still over 20 megabits per second of UDP downlink, um, which gives you great video connectivity, making surveillance, long range surveillance cameras one of the primary best applications for this technology. That's awesome. But what about other applications? What else would we use this for? We are so so. We are working with a bunch of different partners on everything from smart homes, smart door locks, doorbell cameras, um, you know, and a whole bunch of IoT applications, industrial applications, uh, retail, logistics, um, things like that. We are working here with some of the infrastructure partners uh, to create Wi-Fi plus Halo uh, enterprise access points, uh, industrial gateways, um, as well as very novel applications like, for example, with our partner here at Zetify, um, who is using Halo for broadband, broadband distribution uh, in smart, <laughs> smart uh, agricultural applications. Oh, I love that. Yep. I love that. And ag, ag is one of those uh, examples where it's not just a want, it's a need. Exactly. They need the technology. And to take it one step further, smart agriculture also starts to look like gardening tech, which is a burgeoning industry here in the U.S. especially. I never would have thought of that. <laughs> and to complete the uh, ecosystem development that we're engaged in, we're working with leading ma manufacturers for modules uh, such as Silex and Quactel. Uh, we're working as well as Azure Wave and ACSIP in Taiwan. We also offer our uh, own uh, chip, uh, which can be designed into applications. That's a very small uh, QFN package chip. And this is our own reference design for a module. Uh, if anybody wants to uh, or for customers who are evaluating and just want to 
uh, create a low volume prototype. Um, you have these modules that you can put on board. We also have some developer platforms like that are based on Raspberry Pi uh, or even a um, uh, MediaTek SOC based platform. Uh, platform. Wow, and that module is actually smaller than a lot of chips. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It's a very small footprint, uh, 13 by 13 uh, footprint for a um, uh, for, for a module uh, that customers can use for adoption. Now, the question is also, you know, uh, a big part of Wi-Fi has been the inclusion in Matter. That's right. So let's talk about Matter. Well, it's a very simple answer. The answer is yes. Matter does run natively over really Halo, nice, way, right? um, you know, Matter runs, uh, has been proven to work over uh, Halo as a fabric. We support, we've taken the CSA Matter SDK, ported it to both Linux and RTOS, and we can, we have integrated it successfully into Google Home as well as uh, other smart home networks such as, uh, frameworks such as Apple HomeKit. Well, I'm really excited about this. You know, I live out in the middle of a ranch. Yep. I live on 120 so acres, so right. the Thanks possibility so of using range extenders and stuff like this sounds incredible. <laughs> and, you know, I love Wi-Fi. I've always, I miss the 900 megahertz uh, phones, yep. wireless phones that we used to use because of the range and everything else. Um, but when I think about this, it's like, you know, I almost question myself, why did this take so long? Well, it's come back, and the great news is that uh, Wi-Fi Halo is a global standard. Uh, we have spectrum across the U.S., Europe, uh, and Asia. Um, we, we're in the 900 megahertz range. We support bandwidths from 1 megahertz to 8 megahertz. Um, we're the only vendor that has 8 megahertz channels, uh, giving you lots of throughput to, deal, to, to use for all the applications. Right. Prakash, thank you so much. This is great. I really look forward to these products. I mean, you've got such a plethora of products here. My pleasure. And I look forward to the technology. Thank Matter you. of fact, it's one that I will actually personally use. So. Excellent. We look forward to it. So thank you. Thank you.